Hi everyone, Sonia here, and you're watching Pouring with Sonia. <laughs> I've got a 16 by 20 canvas. Full disclosure, if you're watching this, this is going to be a long painting and a long video. My um, idea is to do five of my flower shimmer blooms on this 16 by 20 and all different colors. I've been playing around with different color palettes, so... I think I'm going to go for like a very whimsical kind of a wildflower type of idea here. <clears throat> so let's see what we can come up with. It could be a total disaster and whatever it is, it's definitely going to take a long time. So you have been warned. Now, um, I really just want to kind of get a thin layer of this pillow paint all over. So I'm just going to tilt it around a little bit first. Tilt, tilt, tilt. Okay, because I don't want a huge amount of pillow. I want just enough for everything to glide on. Um, with this particular, you know, with these little flowers that I'm creating, if you have too much, well, normally I've been trying to um, leave some negative space. So, and if you have too much pillow, your blooms are just going to spread and spread and spread. So, <clears throat> that's why I'm just putting a little bit down here. Not a lot, but I definitely need a pillow of some sort. Okay, there we go. There's a little pillow. So what I'm thinking is, um, like maybe five flowers. One, two, three, four, five. Red, a blue, orange, pink, purple. Let's do that. Bright, cheery, happy, fun. Just that a little bit because I got a little bit that's not there we go all right so um going to start and let me think about how big do I want these so, let me build out some puddles first. I'm going to do, that was a boom gel, the pea flower orange, and then some harvest gold, this little piggy, on top of that. Stop, thank you. Now, I'm going to put down some Comet. I should just move my little stir sticks over here. Okay, Comet is next. That's kind of an interference red gold. Okay. Now some Ballet Slipper. Oh. Oh, well, doggone it. I'll move my stir sticks over here. Sorry. Okay, ballet slipper, which is a nice little light pink gold. Okay. And then I'm going to put a little bit of ball gown down, which is an interference gold by this little piggy. <laughs> so I mixed up a lot of new paints 
but I didn't stir my old ones, so that's kind of what I'm doing here. Okay, and then my Grenache. Ah, uh, where are you at? Here. That's going to go on top, which is the most beautiful red. It's just a glorious red, like a Dorothy's Red Slipper red. So I'm going to put a lot in the middle, but also, oops, air bubbles are coming. I'm going to have it go kind of on the outside too. Okay. And now I think I'm just going to put my black cell activator right on top of that rather than put the gold boom gel down. <clears throat> Whoa, I have butterfingers right now. <laughs> you don't see what's going on over here off camera, but uh, I'm dropping things and okay. So black CA, I want a decent amount here. Okay. Let's start with that. Well, start and finish with that. Dang, and I'm stir I'm just spilling it. I'm just not. I think these are big enough that I'm just gonna even use. Okay, it's actually going to be a nice size bloom, I think, for me to do five, three, two, three, four, five. And I don't want to do one, two, three and put these two off center. I want them to be a little, I don't know. So red, what did I say? Blue, orange, pink, purple. Or purple, pink, doesn't, oh, purple next to the orange. Okay, so red, blue, blue is next. Okay, so for the blue... Put my purple down over here. Okay. For the blue, I'm going to start with my, hmm, maybe I will start with my indigo, which is in my pouring medium. I'm going to put it not quite as high as that one. Maybe like right here. Well, that feels a little thick to me. Sometimes I think, oh, it's just an air bubble, but that feels a little like it's not coming off. It's definitely a little thick, but it's kind of too late now. <laughs> All right, so there's my indigo, very thick indigo. Next to that, let's put my velvet because velvet is a fun interference blue that plays nice on like really dark colors. So let's put that right next to that. That could be fun. Okay. And now I'm going to do Southern Ocean Blue, just kind of a tealy blue, just because I want some different values of and shades of the same color family. OK, 
Okay. Then we'll do some mermaid for some more shimmery goodness. That feels about as thick as the indigo, so I'm gonna thin that out real quick. Oh, I think I might even put a little bit of sea glass in there for kicks and giggles. Since I've got that Southern Ocean Blue, which is kind of a, it's definitely blue, but it leans a little teal, so which reminds me of a little bit of greenish. So I'm gonna put a little sea glass right here because why not? Okay, sea glass. My velvet wasn't in that can either. Okay. Now I'm going to go in with some mermaid. I thought I thinned it out enough, but I'm going to thin it even a little bit more. Okay. Little mermaid here. For some more beautiful shimmery goodness. It's hard to go wrong with that. And finally... I think some phthalo blue for a nice bright pop. A blue. Okay. Let me move my blues out of the way. <clears throat> and we're going to come in the cell activator here and I'm gonna try my blower again Um, Thalo Blue really is the star of this show, that's for sure. No, there's no flowers this color blue, but that's okay. I'm going whimsical. I think I'm gonna have to lean into my <laughs> into my paint in order to get reach that. So I'm just gonna leave that as is. Okay. <clears throat> now orange, I said, right? So for orange. Let me bring my oranges over. I told you it was going to be a long one. Sorry. Oops, not comet. I think I will do. Um, actually, I know what I'm going to do. Okay. Okay, so for this, I'm going to start with, I think, some vermilion down here. And while I see this, and before I lose all track of it, let me just grab up that little bit of blue that fell down in there and that hair that fell down in there also. Okay. So some vermilion. Maybe right here. Which is a nice bright, 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 bright orange. Now, um, <clears throat> I don't think I'm going to need that. I'm going to leave that out. 
I'm going to put a tiny bit of, I think I'll just put a tiny bit of the mango right here for the shimmer. Okay, but I'm going to go back in with more of that. And then I'm going to put just a drop of Grenache here. I know that's red, but I want a really nice dark contrast. So what I'm going to do is put a little bit of Submarine on top of that. So hopefully I'll get the darkness, but also get a little bit of that mixing together. Okay. And then I'm going to put some golden peach down, I think, on top of that. I just mix these all up and they all seem thick. <laughs> I just don't know. Okay. There's that. That's right, none of these were in the thing. Now I'm gonna go back in with some more mango. And I wasn't sure. I think I think I'll do some Nico Azo Gold on top of that a little bit. Again, we get a little bit of the darker color for the contrast. And then this really nice, bright, I can, I know I'm not saying the name right. Jean Brilliant, it's a Josonia, it's an opaque. Just gonna put that right there. Put my black on top of it. Okay. All right. We're ready to blow, blow, blow. Well, not quite yet, but here we go. Now we're ready to blow, blow, blow. Start with this and finish with my mouth. there's not a lot of pillow. <laughs> it's probably a little easier, more forceful with my mouth. Okay, so far so good. Red, now I can do pink and purple. I don't wanna do the pink in front of the orange. All right, so pink and purple next. Pink, I think I'll start with the Boom Gel, their Baroque Burgundy. Put that down first. Then I'm going to come in with some Comet, which is like an interference um, red gold. I just love putting those interference colors next to a dark color so they can come out and play. Okay. Then my ballet slipper. I 
which I had in my red pour as well as this pink pour. Same with the Comet, I think. Okay, here's my ballet slipper. Now, let's get some Venus. Such a pretty, pretty feminine kind of a rose pink. Very pretty. Okay, that's my Venus. Some fairy floss for that really bright pop of pink here. I believe Shelly says this is like with their cotton candy, and it does look like cotton candy. It is in Australia, it's called fairy floss. And that's definitely what this reminds me of. And then some sangria. Okay. Okay. Now we'll do the black cell activator here. I know my cell activator is a little bit thicker because I had trouble measuring it out. So maybe that's part of the problem too. No, I think it's just that we don't have a lot of pillow. Oh, I just know it's just dripping my hair in it. That's not good. All right, so there's my pink flower. Yeah, I definitely wanted to get some of those cells to bubble up. Leave that be. <clears throat> and now, what did I say? Oh, purple. Um, purple. I think I may start with this Boom Gel Burgundy again. And we'll kind of go right here. Um, yeah, I want a stem to come down here. I totally said I wasn't going to go one, two, three, one, two, and that's exactly what I did. I was going to do this a little bit off center. But now I feel like if I start this here, let me think about this. Oh, you know what else I should have done? All right, so let me do let me do something before. So I'm gonna grab my. What I'd like to do is. Ugh, bummer.
just kind of a, creating the idea of where my stems are going to go. And I should have done that for my red before I poured out that pink. And I didn't. So I thought, let me do that before I do the purple. Okay. So now, let's have this one start a little bit lower. Okay. And let's grab my purples here. Okay, I think I'm gonna go sequins, which is an interference purple. Enchantment. Constellation. You guys thought I was kidding about a long video, but I know this is going to be a long video. I do love that constellation. Then let's do some pinwheel, which kind of reminds me of the enchantment, but it's got a little more duo, like a duo color. And now I've got some. In Dioxanine purple right on top. Maybe a tiny more sequins right here. All right. Now let's put our cell activator down. And pull this one out. I know I should probably just wait, but I'm being impatient now. <laughs> okay, I'm going to, I think I'm actually going to try I'm going to try and scoop up some of this red That's right here. Now, get everything out of the way. And I'm going to spin just a little bit. Just gonna start slow.
I'd rather start slow and just get faster than to start too fast and then have it all kind of fall off the edge. Okay, I feel like those have spread out just enough. All right, so now I can start thinking about where I want my leaves to be and my stems. So I'm going to, don't mind that. This, I'm going to try and straighten out a little. That was my mistake, definitely. Okay. I want to take some of this blue right off, some of this purple off, or pink. I can leave some of it on, I don't mind some of it, but, and some of this orange, and get some of this blue again, because that did not really, come out. all right, now my two colors. I'm going to need my cell activator again. <clears throat> okay. So. Oh, that's not the color I like to start with. <laughs> I like to start with my lighter color on the bottom. You know, we mixed it up that time. And we're going to have this one coming up this way. And another one up here. Talk about whimsical, all these different colors. Well, that's what I said. I want a, a wild flower kind of a. So this, I think I'm gonna have one going like right over here like this. Let's start with that and we can go from there. So I'm gonna add my second color now, a little bit darker, right along here. Just want some contrast in those leaves, some bright areas and some darker green areas. Oops, Ugh, Sonia, seriously. Before I go any further though, let me kind of clean up the mess I made here. And the mess I made here. Now, I wanted to get that one since it was dripping down over the side. I wanted to get that one first. Okay.
the idea with the leaves is just to, you're not really getting the shape right now. You're just blowing some colors out. Oops, and try not to drag your blowing utensil through the paint because then you'll mix in white. There we go. <laughs> this is silly looking. <laughs> I already know. Ugh. Too whimsical. Silly, silly. I'm going to start just making my little leaf shapes here. me all right so you can see I don't have much of a shape before I start doing my skewer my skewer is what really adds the shape for the leaf Now, I want that to be separate. There's some separation in there. I'm going to grab a little bit of this dark and darker green and come right up here. Just getting some little, uh, probably a spittle. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna grab some of my dark green again here. Go in on top of that light green that I laid down. All right, all right, let's come up here. <laughs> I'm not talking much, I know, I'm just concentrating. <laughs> There's a lot of paint that I could potentially have, you know, wasted so I'm trying to 
make sure this comes up with something decent. And so I'm, I'm not talking much, although I'm not trying to overthink it either. So I probably should just be talking. Okay, this is where I had all of the flub ups and or I spittled when I was blowing the leaves. I'm not sure which, but I'm just either pushing them down or having it suction onto the end of my little thing here. I don't mind that. So I'm gonna grab my dark green and come in here. The blue, I scraped it twice. I had a lot of blue down there, so. I probably should have done this, the base of the flower there after. I'll probably have to go back in and fix those. All right, almost done with the leaves. Then the real fun begins with the flowers. Ugh, this is just looking too silly for me though with all these different, I guess I, I guess I just like the kind of pretty looking flowers and not I don't know. We'll see. Okay, again with the dark green right here. Try and get some of this pink out of here a little bit. Just drag it down. Okay. Um, and since I kind of did all the others, I might as well get this one done now too. Although I think I'm going to have to fix them. Last leaf. Oh, I didn't, I didn't blow my cell activator over that one. Hello. Let's do that real quick. <clears throat> And <laughs> let's get some of this. There we go. Okay, now I think I like it when I've got a couple leaves close together. So, like, I feel like I could have another leaf, like, right here, maybe, here. I don't like the way that's hanging off, like it's going to drip into my painting. <clears throat> That I'm, I don't know.
All right, let's just have some fun. I'm gonna kind of make some fun little swirlies here at the bottom of each of these. And that's why I was like, I'm not going to, I can go back in with my green and fix the base. I forget what that's called, but like where the stem meets. All right. Ooh, that I didn't get all the orange off. probably my favorite part is just making all the fun little frilly happy things in the flowers and I call these little guys where I drag this in and let it pick up that color and not wipe it off sometimes I'll wipe them off like if I don't I wiped them off between my leaves. I didn't want a bunch of, but I call them, they can either be hitchhikers or stowaways. <laughs> but they make me a little bit happy. There's something there. Okay, we're going to come in now for the pink.
I was hoping for some like lines within lines where I could like, make some little things inside and then some little ones on the outside too, but I didn't get much of that when I blew this out. So I'm just gonna have to settle. Now, <clears throat> let's see. <sighs> I can do, I can't really. No, there's not much for me to drag around here. I definitely feel like I can grab this and bring it out this way. There's a hair here, so I'm going to grab that. I am just having fun now, so. And you, I want you. Okay, let's get some of this out of the way. <clears throat> All right, let's see now. Spin it just a little bit. Now, I do feel like I could have a little bit more fun. There goes my doggies. Okay. I feel like, let's see. I feel like a woman. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> All right, sorry. I don't know where that came from. <laughs> I'm just going to do a few little dots along here. where I made my little curly cues to emphasize the motion, but I'll show you also in a minute why I like to do that. Uh-oh. 
Got to have kind of a steady hand here. Okay. Which I don't feel like I have right now. Okay. So now what I like to do... We're going whimsy is I'm going to grab my sangria here, do the same thing over here, I think on the outside, so over here, Okay, I think I'll grab my Grenache. And we'll have a little fun here too. I think this one I'll take on, oops, there's a hair on the end of my skewer and that will mess things up. I think I'm gonna start on the inside of this one. Whew. I hold my breath while I'm doing that and maybe on the bottom of this one. My turntable steady. All right. Um, I just have the tiniest bit of one little trindle going out for my purple. <clears throat> Oops, that's a lot. And I could just leave them as polka dots, they're cute, but I kind of like when you dry through, you make kind of a little heart shape out of them or... Okay. And now just the blue, I think I could, oh, we've got a blue one there too. Like he was going down to reach out and touch. And I think I might do that in Mermaid. Not the phthalo blue, because the phthalo blue really definitely took over. So let me bring a little bit of, I might have to go on the inside because the leaf is right there. And, huh, I think I may go on the inside of this one, too. Mm. 
I maybe mean, it gets a little tight, but it could look kind of cute. Okay. Whew. Breathe, Sonia. Breathe. Let's start with this one. <laughs> it makes me happy. It's cute. All right. Now let's just look back and see if I need to fill in anything anywhere. I feel like I need a little more something over here. Maybe a leaf coming off from over here, like there's more. No, maybe a little bloom right here, like a half bloom. Like a yellow or something, right? I think I'm going to real quick improvise. And I know I probably shouldn't, <laughs> but I'm going to. Oh, I got to open it up. And it's really risky at this point because um, that pillow's starting to dry out a little bit. You know, it's getting a little tacky. I think I'll put just a touch of this Nico Azo Gold right there just for getting that contrast. Some submarine here next. Some golden harvest next to that. I wish I had some of my lemon sorbet all mixed up, but I don't. So this will have to do. I guess I could do a little bit of ball gown on that. All right. I hope I haven't just ruined this. Harsh. All right. I really wanted this to not be like a, I wanted it to be like half like that but it just was not moving over that side so this is what I've got and it's not terrible it's like I got a little baby over there a little baby baby flower I like the difference in the size. My pink one's real big, and then I got a little bit smaller one there, a little bit smaller one there, big purple, and I'm not, I'm not, it's okay. 
I'm okay with this. So I'm gonna have a leaf, my little baby. I'm gonna have you coming out there and there, two on the same side, and then maybe one here, okay. Here and there, and then a little one there. <clears throat> All right, let's grab this down here like that. Grab this like this, and that like that. And let's make some leaves. That's right. Let me do my flower base first. And now we'll go in with this. Sonia, leave well enough alone for crying out loud. For crying out loud. Okay. Let's see if I can get this Yeah, this paint along the side here, it's like dry. <laughs> so I couldn't exactly, I got paint over here, but along the edge, there's no way it was going to drop over the edge like I was hoping it would do. Now, what I would like to do, I think, I don't want it to be necessarily black that's going up here, but 
all my little flowers are all kind of reaching out, right? Oops. Okay. I'm not mad about the yellow. It's pretty. <laughs> but, <coughs> excuse me. Planned it out right. I probably put, wouldn't have put the yellow right next to the orange. But since I didn't plan it out right, that's where it is. And it's still okay. All right. Let's give it one more little spin just to kind of soften those edges. And then I'll bring you down. I can't imagine anyone is still watching this. I don't know how long this has been, but probably a pretty long ass time. <laughs> Maybe it'll drop over the edge now, the yellow. Won't you? Won't you be my baby? What if I go like this? Will you drop over that? Will you give you a little something to drop onto? Probably not. Okay, so there's my whimsical. I don't know if I feel like I should have more green going around, but I think I better call it quits, <laughs> right? And just let well enough be well enough. Um, let's see, I kinda got kind of a pool of paint, definitely, but that's okay. And so far, knock on wood, these have been drying quite nicely. So let's come down and take a look. I'll clean up after and oh, an hour and 14 minutes there's no way anybody watched all of this so here we go I've got my pink flower with some very pretty details my wildflower garden my red blue which of course there are no blue flowers, not like that. Purple, but this is just for fun and whimsy. Orange, right? And a little baby yellow. So there it is. Gosh, if you guys stuck with me for that long, I don't really like it. <laughs> I think the flowers are pretty and everything, but I just don't really like all the different colors I think it's too much but whatever I'll just go with the flow because I did it <laughs> so all right um I hope you had fun watching this if you did God bless your soul because this was a long time and until we meet again have fun painting everyone one more close-up because you deserve it because you stuck with me all that time My little tendrils, they're fun. The pink, I think I'm gonna go and put another little zigzag there and fill that gap in a little bit right in there. But you don't need to stick around for that, do you? There's some fun details in each one of these flowers. All right, so thanks again. Bye everyone.